we know quite a lot about the origin of the universe. Yet we do not know whether life exists outside our solar system. What is clear is that many stars host planetary systems which include Earth-like planets. Professor Barbara Ercolano seeks to understand the conditions in which such exoplanets evolved. I was fascinated by the discovery of the first exoplanet, which took place in 1995, while I was still a student. And from that day on, I knew that's what I want to research. Over 5,000 exoplanets are known. Among them are gas giants like Jupiter, but also planetary bodies similar to Earth. The basic question I want to answer is, how common are planets like our Earth? And in order to do that, one has to understand the whole process of planet formation. It starts with a huge cloud of gas and dust. The cloud collapses under its own gravity and gives rise to stars, each of which is surrounded by a flat protoplanetary disk. And this protoplanetary disk is the nursery where new planets are born and develop. Random collisions between dust particles cause them to stick together, gradually forming solid bodies that grow in size as accretion continues. If these young protoplanets are to avoid being drawn by gravity into the hot central star, there must be a gap in the disk. This gap is created by photoevaporation, as high-energy X-rays emitted by the star ionize and disperse the gas in the disk. From this point on, the accumulations of dust grains beyond the gap can continue to grow in mass and volume, sweeping up the material available in their own orbital zones and maturing into planets. Protoplanetary disks exist for a few tens of millions of years. During this period, planets can be formed. Newborn planets often follow chaotic orbits around their star. In order to study planet formation in detail, Barbara Ercolano simulates the complex processes involved. For example, writing her own algorithms and programs, specifying the initial conditions in the disk, and systematically altering pressure and density distributions. Each simulation requires weeks of processing time on a supercomputer. Ercolano can refine models comparing the results of simulations with observations made by space telescopes such as Kepler. I find it quite awe-inspiring that almost every star in our galaxy has at least one planetary companion. And there are billions of stars, so there must be billions of planets. There's just no way that life could have evolved just once on our Earth. I hope I live long enough to experience the discovery of the first unequivocal signs of life on a planet outside our solar system.